Hey guys, Pocket Gamers resident Minecraft expert Mark here. So Minecraft Pocket Edition just got updated to version 0.11 and it's filled with new features like skins and fishing and boats. We wanted to give you a whirlwind tour of everything that's new so you can see absolutely everything this update has to offer. Let's get started. Let's start with skins. Up until now, you had to play Pocket Edition as generic dude hero Steve. Well, no more. Go into the options and hit this new skin button and you can now pick a new character, including female Minecraft hero Alex. You can also check out the skin packs from Mojang. Some skins are free, others you have to pay for with in-app purchases, but don't worry, you can download skins for free off the web or make your own and import them into the game. First, find a skin on the internet and save it to your device. On iOS, you need to tap and hold on the picture and then hit save image. Back in Minecraft, hit that browse button right there and then find the file on your device. Tap it, choose a model to apply it to and then you're done. You're now a big blue monkey, hooray! Next up, boats. These things are pretty self-explanatory. They let you travel across water, of course. Plus they have a second seat so you can venture across the ocean with a pig in the back. Start by punching trees to get wood, a lot of wood. We're going to turn it into 12 planks. We'll then turn two of those planks into sticks and four into a crafting table. Using the table, we're going to make a shovel with two sticks and a plank. And then with the last five planks, we're going to make a boat. Easy peasy, plop it in the water and hit board to get in. And then you can use the left and right buttons to paddle. Now, what use is a boat if it is not a fishing boat? So let's make the new fishing rod. As ever, we're going to need wood, so get punching, and we're going to turn that into three sticks. We also need string, which is a little bit more tricky. The easiest way to get string is to wait for it to get dark. Then, when it's morning, look for spiders who came out overnight. Kill them, and then pluck the string from their dead bodies. You need two pieces of string. Make a crafting table, and then create a fishing rod with your string and sticks. Now we need to find some water. Walk up to a lake or a puddle or the ocean and hit the big fish button. This will plop your lure into the water and now you need to wait. Eventually you'll see bubbles start to race towards your bob. When this happens, wait to hear a splash sound. And at that moment, hit the fish button again to reel in your line and hopefully a fish. The update also adds the ability to change aspects of your world. Hit the pen button on the world select screen and you can change from creative mode to survival and back again and you can make a creative world get stuck in daytime so it's never night. 0.11 also lets you change the game's language, it adds new mobs like squids and allows for monsters to ride on the back of certain creatures which is kind of creepy. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what to expect in this new version and some helpful advice on how to get the most out of the new update. Now we can start working on a wishlist for version 0.12.